So here we are. We're testing the aeromotive coolant with the Bio Extreme Duty on the right with all the advanced chemistries to show nucleic boil as compared to regular water. As we can see, we're trying, this is a laboratory uh, heating plate with a ceramic plate. As you can see, we're at 140 degrees, starting to boil on the left. You can be able to look at this here. Here's the water. This has been on here for about three minutes. You can see it climbing. Over here, we have the blue chemistry, which is the aeromotive coolant as compared to the water. We're a little over 150. Okay, they're, they're both, it's warming up a little slower. Over on the water, the reason we're using straight water is most people just use water with a little bit of chemistry in it. We're at 170 degrees and you can see the boiling taking place. We've got a little bit of nucleic boil happening. This is at 170 degrees. Now this, is, this does not have any racing chemistry in it. This is just using regular. We're at 180. Let's see how the other product is doing. Okay, we're at 180 so we, can, we know that it heats up like regular water. But you will see that no boiling, no nucleic boil. You can look over and see the boiling of the water. So let's just take it up to where we're going to go. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to run this to what we call like abort failure where it's just going to boil so much that we just got to take it off. So here we're at like a good operational temperature of 190 with the water. You can see the nucleic boil is taking place. We've got 200 degrees over here. Nothing happening. So the, so the coolant is actually taking the heat now faster and absorbing the heat where the water is not. Why do we say this? Because most people use a redline type product or similar and it does not have heat transfer chemistry in it. Now we're at 200 degrees and we already have a nucleic boil. We're at 220 degrees over here and nothing. So we're at the point right now with the water that it is just boiling and this is with zero pressure and we're gonna, well, should we take it off? Uh, it's about time. About when we get to 220 and we peg it we'll take it off. Alright, we can see that this is at 210 degrees, as also confirmed by our radar gun, and is also as confirmed by our gauge. Let's look over at the aeromotive coolant. Is it's absorbing the heat. So we are now going to have to take the other product off to cool on the nucleic boil this is going past the gauge so from this point we're going to actually go to the radar gun now we have to take this out 
and we have to go for the heat gun you can see some obviously heat and foam excuse me vapors taking place but there is no nucleic boil we are at 313 degrees so oh, we got a little bubble happening at what temperature Mr. Chemist? We've got some bubbling that is taking place. Okay, now we've got a nucleic boil and we're at... It's hard to get, it's close to 300 degrees. Close to 300 degrees. Now it's boiling. And that's like a 50-50 mix. This here is the uh, mixture of the aeromotive technology in this. So we've, at 300 degrees, we finally have the nucleic boil. So, as you can see, this is our test. And we'll uh, do the freeze test next. Thank you. All right, this is going to be the aeromotive coolant number two extreme duty racing formulation. We're going to take this and put it in a freezer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take, got a bottle, got a bottle of water. And we are going to see the difference between these two. Now what's going to happen is, what, I'm, what, we're, what we're going to hope to see is, this is going to freeze, and this isn't. This freezer to the freezer. This freezer should get us down to about negative 14. Did you move? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna put the water. So we're putting the water in here into the freezer. This into the freezer. Now we wait. Okay. Okay, so we're back. Freezer. Come on over here and look at this temperature. About negative 23 degrees. Let's see. Twenty-one degrees. And temperature on this ice. Well, that's a mere six degrees. That. All right. So then we're gonna bring this over here. All right. So I'm gonna light this. Negative seven, negative eight. That's antifreeze. This. So it's positive 13. Hmm. Didn't get as cold. 11. Okay, so that's ice. That is frozen. That's this negative 8 liquid. This is our Sparta Clean Automotive Coolant. It's our Extreme Duty Racing Formula. It's coolant number two. Um, we have different we have different ones, and it's a hundred percent premix, uh, and, and it's it, it's a it's a racing formulation, um, and, it, and it's and it's gonna it's gonna help you when you're when you're towing your car from a warm climate and you're going through a cold climate, and you want to make sure that. If you're leaving water in there and it's 10 below zero out and your truck gets stalled, you're going to want this in there. You're not going to want that in there because that, my friend, is a cracked engine block. Very, very expensive and it's going to ruin your weekend. This will not ruin your weekend. Alright, so 
that's my conclusion on this. It's getting a little warmer. The ambient temperature in here is 64, 64 degrees. All right, well, that's our conclusion. Thanks for watching.